Residents of the city of Mandeville could soon get a look at a major development being planned for a lakefront industrial site, all but unused for more than 30 years. The site is where concrete for the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway was formed and floated out on barges during construction better than a half century ago. And as North Shore reporter Heath Allen tells us, any development of this magnitude certainly faces some hurdles. Well, it's one of the last waterfront properties for development between here and Florida, if you think about it. Really? Mm hmm. Yeah, the, uh, this size. The old pre stressed concrete facility has pretty much sat dormant since 1980, but it does have causeway history. This is where they did the concrete work for the first span, the second span. They did the Dolphin Island Bridge. An enormous project is now under development for the 78 acre site. An architectural firm out of Lafayette, hired by the landowners, is designing an expansive multi use development approaching a hundred million dollars worth. Possibly a hotel, a plaza, retail space, uh, multifamily houses or row of houses, executive uh, or, or larger homes down in this area. Something needs to go here and the type of upscale development that's being planned right now is what Mandeville deserves for this community. But the challenges are pretty obvious. Port Marini, as it would be called, would sit right here on Monroe Street. A reasonably quiet two lane residential road with a couple of schools. Traffic is an issue. A number of options to deal with that challenge are under consideration. Planners doing traffic studies. And then. We will hire someone to take a look at that traffic study right. and verify the data and verify the, uh, uh, the approach on it. The public will have major opportunities for input. Uh, many meetings will be planned, public hearings and so forth. So the community will have the opportunity for, it, for input. Nothing is written in concrete, so to speak. All in the planning stages now. Any project still faces comprehensive land use, planning and zoning and council approval. And Mandeville residents could get some idea though as early as is coming June. What I'm excited mean? that this development is happening, that this piece of property is being developed. Finally. Finally. Mayor Villery says most agree the property should be developed. Not so much a matter of if, but of what will go up on the old abandoned concrete site. On your side in Mandeville, Heath Allen, WDSU News. In recent months, developers held a number of intensive planning sessions where citizens, designers, and others offered ideas and input on what might be built at that site. Architect Southwest of Lafayette is now pulling together all the ideas and laying out the initial plan, which could be unveiled in early summer.